ArcGIS Runtime SDKs provide a fully supported 3D experience on both mobile and desktop platforms. All the data formats that you saw Devesh show are supported in 3D, but the 3D experience really comes to life when you use content intended for that platform. Runtime supports optimized visualization of 3D content using the, the scene layer, which uses the ICS standard, or the I3S standard, um, via online services or also on your device as a scene layer package. Let's first take a look at some uh, scene layers being streamed as web services to a native app on my Android phone here. We're going to start off in San Francisco. This is a scene layer by Precision Lightworks. It's of 3D objects representing buildings generated from GIS data with some textures applied to give a photorealistic experience. And then those 3D objects are then draped on an existing terrain surface. Next, let's move to the city of Girona in Catalonia, Spain. This uses a different type of scene layer called an integrated mesh. The integrated mesh is an exciting new data type because it provides a more efficient way of creating a realistic uh, 3D data set. It's particularly well suited for urban environments, uh, as you can see by this detailed uh, here we go, a detailed data set um, generated by the Catalonia Cartographic Institute. But integrated meshes don't only work well for urban 3D data, but it works for natural 3D features as well, such as the iconic Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. You can see the peaks and valleys really come alive in this data set by our friends at Vricon. With the latest release of runtime, though, you can do more than just browse the data. You can analyze it interactively as well. So I can do a view shed here. And I, you'll notice that it's following around my thumb as I move it in the display. It's calculating this view shed in real time using the GPU on the device and only the data that's being rendered to the display itself. You'll notice that the data is so detailed that actually visibility is not so good for my six-foot-tall observer due to all the tall trees that are down on the valley floor. This app is available online right now as open source on GitHub if you're interested in it. That's a few examples of some scene layers that are being streamed to my device, but, looks, but, but the runtime actually supports a 3D experience offline as well. You heard David talk earlier on about example apps and how they're a way of us to provide best practices for you to meet certain workflows. This is one of those apps we're working on. It's currently in development. Um, it's targeting developers who are writing solutions for first responders, search and rescue teams, and military personnel who have disconnected, intermittent, and low bandwidth situational awareness needs. So everything that you see in this app is meant to work offline. We're looking at a tile package here that's draped over a local raster data that's providing the um, elevation surface. And we can add some other local data as well, such as this scene layer package of textured buildings. And then I have a shape file here of some key vantage points in the city represented by these dots in mag magenta. If we zoom in a little bit here, we see that we're actually tracking this vehicle as it's moving around the city. Um, its position's being updated, and we're tracking its location. I want to be able to understand when this vehicle can be visible to two or more of those observers at any point in time, in real time, as it's moving. So one way I could do that is to do a view shed analysis, like I showed before. And the difference with this version is that it's actually attached to the vehicle as it's moving and being updated automatically. But this doesn't answer my question. I want to know when that car is visible by those observers. So I do a different type of analysis here, a line of sight. And in this case, I'll tell it to use the observer's shape file as the input. I'll just change the base map here so you can see it a little bit better. And we see that the line of sight <clears throat> is being performed from those observ observers to the vehicle. The segments that you see in green are what's uh, visible to the observer. And the segments in red are what's not visible. So we see we have a really clear indication here as a vehicle moves of when it's visible by two or more observers at any one time. Remember, this is all working offline. There's no connection to any uh, server at all. I think that's pretty cool. I'm super excited about that. Thank you. Yes. So I'm so excited about this that I want to get something trending out here, and I'm hoping you guys can help me. I'm thinking maybe uh, hashtag runtime, offline, 3D, real-time analysis. So you guys make it happen. We're going to make it popular. OK. 
Uh, the advantage of this app, because it's an example app, is that all the code is made available um, as open source. So let's take a look at some of the code that we used to create this line of sight. This app was written using the ArcGIS Runtime SDK for Qt. So this is some C++ code uh, and in Qt Creator. It's actually really straightforward. <clears throat> First, you need to create an analysis overlay. And then you need to append it to your scene view. And then after having connected to the shape file, you iterate through all the features within the shape file. You create a line of sight from that feature in the shape file as the observer to the vehicle. And then you append it to that analysis overlay. In this particular case, we're using the GeoElement line of sight because it tracks the location or tracks the updated positions for the observer and the target as they move. There's no additional work that you need to do as a developer. So it's really straightforward. So the Runtime SDK has a 3D experience for both mobile and desktop platforms. It works whether you're connecting to services um, online or whether you're working with data offline. And in the latest release, we support interactive analysis tools that help you give answers to your questions that you have uh, in real time.